Abraham was circumcised following his trust in God's covenant promise. His male seed were circumcised before their existential trust. So, in the Old Testament, circumcision is not a matter of either or. Uh, Abraham becomes a believer, one might say, and therefore becoming a believer is circumcised. His children are born within that covenant family, and as a sign of that covenant, they are circumcised with a view to their responding to the covenant promise. And I think we would want to say that exactly the same thing, exactly the same pattern is true in the new covenant. So, uh, those who come from outside of the new covenant community who are converted to Jesus Christ will be baptized as converts on profession of that faith. Uh, but in the same way as was true of Abraham, because the covenant promise is given not only to them, but to their children, they too will receive the covenant sign. So, in effect, there is really no difference at that point between the way in which circumcision was administered and the way in which baptism is administered. And I think the key thing there, especially in what Paul says in Romans 4, 11 and 12, is, is to grasp the principle that Paul says circumcision was a sign of the the gracious saving righteousness of God's covenant promise, which Abraham received by faith. So, the circumcision was not in the first instance a sign of his faith, but a sign of God's promise. And it was because of that it could be given to Abraham who trusted that promise. It was a sign of a promise he had already trusted, but his male children could be given it because it was a sign of the promise and not a sign of faith. And because it was a sign of the promise, it called them to trust in the promise. So, in the same way, certainly for Peter Baptist, uh, I am baptized, uh, I come to faith in Jesus Christ and I am baptized. And my children are baptized, although they may not yet have come to faith, because baptism is not, in the first instance, a sign of my faith. It's a sign of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, my children are also baptized, and that baptism becomes a visible presentation of the gospel to them that summons them to faith and repentance. So, in these ways, there are obvious differences between circumcision and baptism, but there's obviously this continuity in the way in which God administers the covenant sign and the covenant promise.